My battery is low, and it's getting dark. This is the final message NASA scientists received from the Opportunity rover on Mars. Launched in the summer of 2003, with its twin rover Spirit, the missions were designed to last just 90 Martian days. Shocking the NASA mission planners, both Opportunity and Spirit survived over 20 times longer than predicted. The twins landed on opposite sides of the planet in January 2004. Opportunity was sent to a place called the... Um, I can't pronounce this word. Meridiani Planum. And that is where they sent Opportunity. Spirit, meanwhile, was sent to the other side of the planet, landing in the Gusev Crater. After landing 25 kilometres out of its target zone, and falling into a small crater known as Eagle Crater, Opportunity took its first pictures. The NASA scientists were stunned to discover that they had landed upon exactly what they were looking for. After taking samples of nearby rocks, the Opportunity rover allowed scientists back home to make strong hypotheses concerning the past presence of water on Mars. This was one of the main objectives of the mission. In 2005, Opportunity became lodged in a sand dune, with several wheels stuck in the sand. Luckily for Opportunity, scientists on Earth were able to figure out the best way to free the rover without causing significant damage. After six weeks stuck in the sand, Opportunity was finally free and proceeded with its mission. Unfortunately for the twin spirit, a spot of soft sand would mean the end of its travels. In 2009, Spirit became lodged in a sand trap. It was stuck at such an angle that hampered its ability to collect energy from its solar panels. For the following eight months, NASA scientists tried to figure out how to free Spirit, but were unsuccessful. For a few months hereafter, Spirit continued making observations from its stationary location until communication with Spirit stopped in March 2010. NASA desperately attempted to regain contact until May 2011, at which point the unresponsive rover was declared dead. Opportunity, meanwhile, had soldiered on, avoiding dangerous sand traps and dust devils. It studied Victoria Crater, and in this orbital image, we can actually see Opportunity. Let's take a closer look. Opportunity spent almost two years at Victoria Crater before setting off to its final destination and resting place, Endeavour Crater. It took Opportunity three years to reach Endeavour. Upon arrival at a valley on the rim of the Endeavour Crater, Opportunity had covered a total distance equivalent to a marathon. The valley was subsequently named Marathon Valley. Opportunity diligently roved around the rim of the crater for a further three years. In 2014, NASA reported that Opportunity was suffering from amnesia events in which the rover failed to write data. This was believed to be due to an age-related fault in one of the rover's seven memory banks. NASA tried to work around this fault by forcing Opportunity not to use the failed memory bank. However, these events continued to occur. Then, in June 2018, after surviving for almost 14 years and covering over 45 kilometres, Opportunity made its final contact. This is the last picture NASA received, along with a string of data that basically translates to My battery is low and it's getting dark. NASA had observed a global scale dust storm develop blocking out 90% of the sunlight reaching the surface of Mars, and presumed Opportunity could not recharge. They weren't particularly worried at this point, as this has happened to Opportunity before. The hope was that once the storm had subsided, a windy period would follow, blowing any remaining dust off of the solar panels. However, in the following seven months, NASA sent more than 835 recovery commands, but to no avail. Opportunity would not wake up. Opportunity was originally programmed to enter hibernation mode if its batteries became too low. 
As the temperatures on Mars can be extremely low, Opportunity has always had a method to keep itself warm. However, due to the length of the dust storm and the depleting of its batteries, Opportunity had essentially frozen to death. On February 13th, 2019, NASA declared an official end to the mission. The last data sent to Opportunity from NASA was the song I'll Be Seeing You by Billie Holiday. Past and present members of the mission team gathered in JPL's Spaceflight Operations Facility to watch these final commands being sent. Almost like a funeral, there were some emotional moments with some people present who had spent their whole working life on Opportunity. If humans ever land on Mars, I think it would be fitting to rescue both Spirit and Opportunity and reunite the twin rovers. What do you miss the most about the Opportunity rover? If you would like to learn more about how deep space communication works, head on over to the channel New Mind to learn about this and other fascinating engineering videos. Don't you dare subscribe. Please send help. Elder Fox has locked me in his computer. I'm not pronouncing any more words. I'm sick of it.